hi my loves we are back and with a james charles palette review comment like subscribe turn on your post notification bell so you won't miss me much and shop my website book me to get your face snatched So moving on into the tutorial, I just picked this palette up from Ulta, which I was dying to because I couldn't find it. But yeah, let's get busy. I was eating popcorn because I was watching movies, so do not judge. So on to today's mission. I'm priming with this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer which is great and I'm pointing out the colors as I am moving along because the names are not on there it's only on the plastic protector so yeah and the pigment of those shadows are amazing I was a little concerned when I started to pick up the product but you gotta you like you gotta learn girl you gotta work like you gotta work blending is also key with this palette um i've realized a lot of people say they struggle with it and the product um texture isn't that great but no it's perfect i cannot complain the colors are amazing the pigments are amazing so if you want to get it go right ahead Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Shop my website. My hair is from my website. It's the Water Wave Texture. Just in case you're wondering. And it's also dry. I don't like to keep my hair wet anyway. And I'm also cutting my crease with the same e.l.f. 16 hour camera concealer. It's a different shade. I think it's the lightest shade. I just don't remember what it is. I'm trying to be precise and exact with this. And I use the same palette throughout the entire look. I wanted to test it out I wanted to get a feel of it because like I said it was the first use So the pigment that I used over my shadow with a mixing medium is from J. LaRue Cosmetics. Hopefully I said that right. You can check them out on Instagram. And also the glitter over the pigment is a glitter from my website which is in the shade Golden Mocha. And you can also check that out. It is a chunky glitter but the size of it is not that big you can see it on my eyes and i have hooded lids so if i can wear those glitters then girl you can too 
my lashes are also in the style kiki from my website as well and my foundation is a bb cream i think by ruby kisses i love this foundation so much when i just started wearing makeup that was my go-to beauty supply store foundation and i had some of it so i used it and as you can see it applies flawlessly ain't nothing wrong with it and i also highlighted using la girl pro concealer which you know by now is my favorite in the shade toast and blending is key baby girl you don't want to look crazy with those blotches or patches at this stage you gotta blend till the gods come get you and I did not bake I just set my under eye On some days when I realize the creasing is terrible, I try to bake, but not too long. But as you can see, I'm just tapping that setting powder in there. And it's the Sacha Buttercup setting powder. And this glitter gloss is a new product that we just added to the website. And this is in the shade Rosy. And yes, she is available and she is only three dollars i think on there so go check her out i will link all of the products which you can find on my website in the description box so i hope you guys enjoyed this semi-dramatic look and my review see you next time